Gentlemen, on November 30th, our nation lost George Herbert Walker Bush, the 41st President of the United States. 
President Bush led a great American life, one that combined and personified two of our nation's greatest virtues, entrepreneurial spirit and a commitment to public service. At this time, we ask that you observe a moment of silence in honor of his inspiring example. Thank you. Fans on the field before you today, holding our nation's colors are Armed Forces veterans employed by Lockheed Martin, and over 125 branch recruits that will be inducted into the Armed Forces later today. In 2008, President George W. Bush signed the legislation allowing veterans and military personnel out of uniform and salute the flag during the national anthem as a form of honor and respect, representing pride in one's military service. All non-military should remove their hats and place their hands over their hearts for our national anthem being sung today by Staff Sergeant Tracy Gregg from Fort South Carolina. <laughs> Special honorary captain joining Houston, former quarterback 